Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 25 of All the Mod to the Sky, or All the Mods 9 to the Sky, where uh, we get uh, all the modium ingots automated. And also, before we hop into the episode, I want to tell you guys thank you for understanding that last week was very important to us. Had a big technical issue, so. Uh, hopefully we get back to a normal streaming schedule. So let's hop into this episode and see how it's done. All right, let's jump into this episode. So one of the first things I want is 128 of these. And, uh, do not think, yeah, we're, we're missing Flux Crystals and White Wool. Uh, white wool, we're getting plenty of stuff over in that. So let's see if we can at least make say 64 of these we're still missing white wool uh i need i need at least a couple stacks of white wool and uh then let's request 64 of these Small stack. Small stack of uh, smart cables of the dense variety. Uh, one of the things I want to do is change out the cables that are going down here to all of these stuff that I have done up down here. Because I would like to set up a little bit more automation down here. Uh... Just takes a little bit for this to start getting done. I'm waiting until it gets completely done. Before we hop into the rest of the there we go. There we go. Okay. Uh and to do that, we're going to make a lot of breaking noises. Uh, I think we cannot put a, a yeah we cannot put a dense smart cable onto this. So we're gonna have to come around behind it. Can't put a smart cable there either uh, but we could actually put the storage bus up here and you know what let's get do we know how to make regular smart cables no we don't I'm I have been away for a week guys uh if you guys noticed the the community note that was posted by the lovely editor of mine um the one that handles 98 percent of my communications unless you guys have a question uh or comment in the uh, in the video so Then I normally am the one who answers those. But yeah, she she informed you guys. Uh, last week was rough. Uh, I had a massive issue with uh, my PC. And I had to uh, do some alterations to it. So I lost a lot of days getting that set up. We don't need this cable here. Let's be responsible about our cables. Um, I 
And so, yeah, I had a lot of stuff I needed to get done last week. And I didn't have enough uh, of a library set up for recording, so. Does, does this not count as a device or a, a required cable? So that's... Okay, so... There's that. I also want to get connected to this guy here. So let's see here. Uh, this is the storage controller, so let's pop out the one right below it. There we go. Now we have access to the storage controller. It is over here. So, yeah, uh, I'm just trying to think here how I want to do this. I laid this all out, all kinds of funky. Um, I need a storage bus, at least. Can at least get this storage bus placed up here and somewhat... Uh, configured. I want to configure this. Uh, not as a insert as extract. I want it to... Uh, filter on uh, no, no, no. I want it to not filter. I want it to uh, bi-directional extract only. There we go. I want it to extract only. That's the mode we wanted. I know, I know. I, I, I am very bad wiring this up right now. But sometimes you've got a bad wire to, to get stuff done for right now. So now we should be able to see the wool and stuff now. So we should be able to say wool. Yeah, okay. So we see the wool that is in the storage over there. So now... I put this in here. Uh, can I say uh, Fluix cable? I want another 64 of these. Okay, so we're going to need 125 Fluix crystals. Uh, Fluix crystals is a water recipe. Uh, an in-world uh, transformation where we take a charged thirst crystal, a redstone dust, and nether quartz and make it. So what I would like to do is, you know, we've got these right here. Uh, let's go in here and go uh, at modular routers. Okay, so... I already have one of these set up for something, and I it's got the routers that we need, uh, or the modules that we need. So I'm just going to alter this so it's not doing the um, one recipe, but we're actually going to set it up so that it will do the... Uh, 
Netflix recipe. I, I'll, I'll, no, 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 I, I'm going to make Skystone with it. Um, let's grab some stone blocks here. And we will set this up like this and set this modular router like this. Uh, how we're going to do this is very simple. We're going to do this twice here. This is this is the quick one. I'm going to show you guys this. Uh, what it does is it will drop. Oh, it, it needs to pull from a certain uh, thing. Uh, and it will need to send straight up. Okay, that that's two of the things. Uh, so we need to set up a chest here. I will show you how to do this chest. And one of the things we're going to need is a pattern provider. Two of these guys. Uh, and what we will do here, wait, 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 what is, what, what do we, oh, uh, prediction matrixes, that's it. Bet you guys were wondering when I was going to do that. Um... We will set up a pattern provider right here. We'll set up a chest right here. Okay. We'll hit this with a wrench on that side so it shoves all the stuff into this chest. Now we're going to take this pooler uh, module here. Right click that. And now it's going to pull from that chest. Now, we're going to uh, come up here, say Skystone, uh, Skystone, uh, not you, Sky Steel, there we go, and uh, we're going to teach it this recipe right here. So that it needs one of the, each of those to make those. Uh, I will pull what we have out of here from Sky Steel while we also set up to make uh, one another 128 patterns. Okay, so we'll come over here. We'll set this in here. Uh and anything else that we'll need it for, so. Um, and now, what we'll do is, there we go, so we can see that this has one channel on here, and now we can type in here, uh, Sky Seal. And we can say request, say, 64 of these. Uh, it's missing Skystone. Did I not teach you how to make Skystone? Uh, how do you make Skystone? Interesting. Occultism, smelter. Skystone. Smelting dust into that. And so we've got that up there. So let's teach this the recipe for skystone blocks and skystone 
There we go. There we go. Those can go in there. So now we should be able to say, give us 64 of these. All right. And once that starts processing, you see that it's dropping those in there. One at a time. Uh, is this not picking it up or is this just destroying it? Okay, so okay, so what what just happened there is we we have it set up so that uh, it's not properly doing it. So what we need to do is we need to set it to blocking mode, and now we should be able to say request sixty four of this. Um, It's making it, it's just, okay, this is uh, very, oh, it's, it's actually making it. Might just have to set up a second uh, sender. Okay, uh, give me a second to get this one set up. Uh, we'll Modular router. Uh, modular router, right? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, oh, it, it, it's pulling it. It's just, it's very slow. So I'm not sure how to speed that up. Uh, so we need a vacuum. A vacuum. A module. Right, we need a vacuum module, and we'll we'll whitelist the stuff we need here in just a second. We need a sender module. All 
All right, sender mark one should be enough. We need a pooler module. Uh, and we're going to make it a Mark II, which we first need to make a Mark I to make it a Mark II. Um, and we need a dropper module. Okay, so once we got all of these... Um, items here. We're going to teach it the recipe for the Luix crystals, right? Uh, we want to teach it how to make this. So, we're... All we need to do with this is we need to set the dropper blacklist to a Fluix crystals. We don't want it to drop a Fluix crystals back down. And we want to make sure it drops it downward. So we want to click the down button. Uh, that That's one of the things we want to set on that. So that is that one. Uh, we want to set up the pooler module so it will pull from a chest. Anything that's in this chest, we want it to pull from. So we need to set this chest right here. And we'll say pull from this chest. Okay, so the pooler can go in here. The dropper can go in here. Now we need the sender. And the vacuum, uh, the vacuum, the vacuum should be, uh, from the down. So we're going to need to set it on this. Uh, we're going to tell it to pull from down and we want it to pull only fluid crystals. Okay. So we're going to set this and we're going to whitelist fluid crystal. And we're going to say sender module, we're going to send it upwards and flux crystals and make it a whitelist. So those two, and now we need a pattern provider in here. It just works. This just works. I don't know why it works. My brain can't comprehend it at times. Uh, we will... I wrench that. Apparently, shift pipe wrenching will uh, pick it right up. And now we should see this go to two panels. Yeah. So all we need now is to set up Lux crystals on this. All right. So now... Uh, we should be able to do that. Come down here. Put that in there. And now we should be able to say, make us, I don't know, uh, 32. And we'll see that it just drops these right on down in here. Oh, we, we should have set this up to block. Uh, as long as we don't get close to that, it's perfectly fine. Those don't deteriorate. Um, they will if it's down there for more than five minutes, but... There we go, it starts dropping. Flux crystals keep getting picked up one by one. Tossed into the system. So we've got we've got flux crystals. And we can make the dense cables now. Um 
give me a moment here. That is not our goal today. That was one of our goals today. Our ultimate goal is to get all the modiums guarded. And I'm going to see if I've got enough time to do that. I will be right back. All right. Uh, it took me a few moments. Uh, we've got a few minutes. So we're, we're going to try to do this. We're going to try to get all of this in one quick go here. Uh, the first thing I want to do is this flux crystals. I would like to set it up so that we can uh, blast this and make these. So this goes into here. And this goes into here. All right, so that is our first of the items of the energized and that's the flux one the refined glowstone i'm going to hold off on just a few moments so the energetic alloys uh i think we're already making these no we are not so we just need this recipe right here for the energetic alloys uh taught to this system we need an alloy smelter so uh, we did make a alloy smelter earlier in the series. There it is, the alloy smelter. Uh, we need probably like 10 pattern providers. So let's just make 10 pattern providers super quick. Uh, at Ender. Okay, so I do not have... Okay, so this probably still has it. We just need one for right now. Uh, we'll go down here. We will set this up. They... I'm going to set these uh, ones up for this over here. So we're going to set this Ender Alloy Smelter right here. Pattern Provider. On this, put this in here. Uh, we're going to need a... Lux plug. No point. We need a flux point and cables to handle this. Uh, sure, sure. These nitro cables will work. Um, go up underneath these guys. And we're going to just set this here. Nope. Well, I guess that's fine. Uh, we're going to say connect to the Malcord network. Uh, allow power surge and bypass energy limits. OK, so there we go. This here. All right, so once this gets set up, we're just going to need a cable, a flux cable. We're probably going to need more um, bandwidth on this here at this stage. So we'll probably have to go up and over because this is already using 6 of 32, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. Six. All right, so we've got the energized uh, alloy. What is the next one in this? Uh, Dironium or soul infused ingots. Uh, let's go Dironium. That should be the easiest one. Next. Uh, Dironium, we're going to need. Uh, to teach this how to make a few things. We're going to need it to learn how to make charcoal. Okay, that that's uh, simple enough of a thing to do with smelting. Uh, just wood. So we do have access to wood. Uh, we need arcane crystals, which is also smelting again. Um, 
We know how to get gold. We have access to gold. We have access to everything that this is required. This is a normal crafting recipe. So we've got two crafting recipes and two smeltings. So we've got the two smeltings in there and got these added to the crafters. Okay, so that is Dironium. Um, uh, next is the soul infused ingots, uh, which requires the soul infused dust here. To make the soul infused dust, we're going to need a uh, soul sand dust, appetite dust, and embar blend. Okay, so. Uh, it looks like we're going to need a pulverizer. Uh, Invar blend. So, uh, so sand dust and appetite dust. So, so sand dust pulverizer. Um, Invar blend. Do, do we not know how to make Envar blend? There's no recipe for Envar blend. I mean, we already know how to make Envar, so I think it's just pulverizing that. So appetite dust, that's going to be pulverizing this. Oh no, no, did we just get rid of uh soul sand dust? Uh soul sand infused. Yeah, we we did. Wait, wait. Uh, so let's make a pulverizer real quick. Uh, pulverizer. Okay, so we don't have uh, access to any of this. Uh, let's make a couple of those. Let's make a couple of these gears. Make a couple of these okay, so we can make the machine frame okay, so we have pulverizer so let's go in bar okay so we got in bar come down here we're going to set up the pulverizer to be the next machine on this uh we're going to configure it so that it pushes and pulls from the top um there we go got invar dust Do, 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 do. Soul infused dust here. Now we can make Invar dust part of this. Right. Okay. So now make Invar dust. Now we have another pulverizer recipe. So we have all the pulverizer recipes and the process. We can set the process up here. Uh, we can get this down here, set this up here. And uh, we'll set this so that all of these are set up down. Okay, so. 
stick all of these dust in here. So now we should be able to make uh, the soul infused, right? Yes, yes, we can make the soul infused. Um... So all the modium, uh, last thing we need is this refined glowstone, because we already know how to make nitro crystals. So refined glowstone, we're going to need an osmium uh, compressor. Okay. Take this osmium compressor, set it right here. Uh, we're going to configure this that on the back, or items, on the back, it will get the extras. Uh, on the bottom, we'll get the energy. Uh, on the top will be input output. Uh, on the back, we're going to say will be the extras. Okay, so on the back, we're going to need an uh, exporter uh, here, like so. And we're going to take exporter, set it here. We're going to set a pattern provider on top here. Goes down. Uh, we're going to say we're going to need some more cables. Uh, give me 10 of these. And I need, uh, say, 64 of these. After the 10 of those are done. So 64. Because so I'll probably need... Uh, more energy, so it needs more class. I still haven't set that up where it's got access to this class. I'll probably take all of those downstairs, put them uh, close by with a storage bus on top of them. Um... Okay, so now I need 64 of these guys. I do not know why that just happened, but okay. Uh, we'll set this up. So Device is still online. Devices are still online. Okay, so uh, we will set up Osmium uh, being output from the back or into this via this thing right here. Okay, so we'll watch and we can see that this is filling up with the Osmium. And now, we'll just come up here and get the last two patterns set up. The refined glowstone. So we don't need that. We just need it to know that it sends the glowstone to make this. And we need the all the, the, all the modium got to this. And there we go. So now, we can go over here to this guy. Put all the modium in here and put this into here. And now we should be able to say, give us all the modium gold dust. What requires gold dust? requires gold dust. I don't know. 
Uh, is it refined glowstone? No, that shouldn't be it. Uh, what? Um, gold dust. Right. Not the wrestler. Pulverizer should be able to do that. Okay, so go in here. We type in pulverizer. There we go. Now we can say all the modium. And we just want our very first one here. So uh, I will be right back once that gets done. All right, guys. Uh, I'm back, and the reason why uh, it took me so long to get this done is um, it didn't know how to export it. So let's see here. It scheduled this, soul-infused dust, soul-infused ingots. Uh, let's see here. What is it missing? Um, all right, I thought it was going to be done. Give me a second to figure out where the issue is. Okay, I put this into the pulverizer. That should have been a crafting recipe. There we go. There we go. And there we go. We have three pieces of all the modium. We automated all the modium today. That was our goal for today. So if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you disliked it, go right ahead, dislike it, and leave a comment down below why you disliked it, what you found useful that helps you out. It will help me out to get better at this for you guys. And until next time, later, Gators.